good morning to all of you. Uh, sir, special good morning to Dr. Sudhir Krishna, uh, who is an eminent uh, personality and the expert, uh, and uh, has a lot of expertise in urban governance in India. And uh, Subrata Das, and Muhammad Atta, and uh, other uh, dignitaries on the dais, and uh, dignitaries of the dais. Yeah, the very or uh, because uh, one or two were there in the country and their co their cooperation or coordination uh, with uh, foreign countries etc. It was too costly uh, to ma maintain them for various reasons. It did not take off. But in Telangana, uh, we have out of three clusters, in two clusters at, at least, uh, waste to energy plants have been set up, and in one with 12 megawatt capacity, uh, by and large they are. Uh, um, they are producing around 6 to 8 megawatt capacity and second plant uh, maybe in a couple of months it is coming for uh, fruition and it is operationalized being set up in Surya Pit. And third cluster one now we are thinking whether even private partners uh, whether they are capable whether they are competent whether critical mass is available or not. If not if they are smaller municipalities we will go for decentralized composting models or some other models. It is not that only waste to energy model is correct. So for various reasons, so one is at uh, various smaller municipalities, organic waste and even in bigger uh, municipal, municipalities and municipal corporations like Warangal and also Hyderabad. Uh, so decentralized uh, composting and then biomethanation etc. we can do, we can try. And in fact, uh, uh, 2013 November, October, November, we held a clean city championship in Warangal, sir. We also won Hardco Award. So, what could not be done in the last uh, 60 years? Sir? In seven days, house to house collection 100% and house 100% segregation, transportation, and uh, differentially treating each of the components. So, we could do it and we could also win Hardco Award for that. In fact, uh, combined state was shortlisted for Prime Minister Award. But unfortunately, that could not finalize last year for various reasons. So we could not go to the final, and it was not finalized uh, because the elections came and all that. So, in fact, uh, small sanitation, in fact, such a no because last two three years, in fact, we were only talking. Talking means all others might be talking, but we were talking from rooftop from Andhra Pradesh about Swachhata. And uh, in fact, in, it was telecast in Satyamev Jayate, 16th March. Uh, uh, last year, 2014, and I was invited uh, by uh, Amir Khan. So, for taking a very good lead in the solid waste management activity in the country, sir. So, we have an intention, we have intention, sir, to convert all these 68 towns. Uh, our Chief Minister also held two or three meetings, and a cabinet subcommittee was formed recently, uh, uh, three four months back. And uh, they, in a series of uh, serious and uh, emergency meeting, sittings, uh, and all the issues were uh, talked about how to go forward and how to make the how to make the cities closer to smart cities. So we have all the intentions, and Hyderabad being in the forefront and one of the biggest uh, cities. And out of our 127 lakh population, urban population in the state, around more than 70 lakh is in Hyderabad itself. So in Hyderabad again PPP we have uh, entered into agreement with uh, Ramki and the uh, government of uh, Andhra Pradesh Dagen, and also the Hyderabad GHMC uh, uh, entered into an agreement under PPP. For various reasons we could not operationalize the uh, collection and transportation part of it uh, uh, of the sanitary solid waste but the processing is uh, getting done on scientific lines as you know sir very few cities in the country are doing the end treatment. So that end treatment is being taken up and the collection is done. Now I cannot say with 100% efficiency but uh, in either work it is being done and transportation also is being done and uh, uh, then waste to energy and uh, converting organic waste into manure and then uh, producing recycle and whatever is possible and ultimately scientific landfill and all these things are being attempted in either work. So, Hyderabad being having a 55% of urban population in uh, Telangana. So, rest of the municipalities also we are trying to go ahead. And uh, with energy efficiency also we were front front runners for the last four or five years. In fact, I was also reform director 
and uh, SPIU when DFID project was there. In incidentally, I was also mission director for mission for elimination of poverty in the municipal area. 24 states so far have visited. Yesterday we had a meeting here, sir, uh, to see our model of dealing with poor because smart cities have to be inclusive, number one, and smart cities uh, cannot exclude the poor, number two, the slums and poor. So, in fact, uh, we have an organi exclusive organization to ta take care of the urban poor. That is called Mission for Elimination of Poverty in Municipal Areas. Incidentally, I was the first MD for that in 2007, 2008, sir, when it was established. And uh, we could we could uh, access around 3,986 crore rupees from the banks. Nowhere in the country, sir, the urban poor, houseless and um, uh, addressless, small, small people could access uh, 3,986 crore rupees from the banks in the last five, six years, number one. Number two, sir, uh, will, will be very surprising and interesting is 98% repayment is being maintained. So these are some of our uh, uh, strengths, success stories and intentions. And I think with these smart city, whatever final definition has to emerge now, it, depending on that how far we are from the smart city, but our intentions are clear and uh, our uh, journey is very clear and our goals are very clear and we want to make Telangana as one of the best uh, uh, urban governed uh, state in the country, sir. Thank you very much.